Hey folks, this is being shot on the new Canon PowerShot G7X that I recently got and I'm going to be reviewing this uh, and shooting this whole video uh, with the camera. But one of the things that's nice about it is as you can see here in the mirror, it's got a pop-up screen. So when you're doing like a selfie, you can actually see yourself, which is kind of nice. You can see the framing and all that. Uh, here's the box that it comes in. And uh, let's go ahead and take a walk outside and you can kind of see how this camera performs. All right, so I'm gonna gear this video towards people who wanna use this camera for, on YouTube for vlogging and for videos. Uh, I'm not going to be talking much about the still image quality, because there are certainly other videos for that. I'm gonna be just talking about using this camera for video, videoing. And as you can see, the quality is pretty good on this camera. And um, what Canon really did with the G7X is it's sort of in response to Sony's offering um, on the RX100 Mark III series. It's sort of Canon's response to that. But it has a faster lens than Sony's. Um, it also has, uh, the lens has more of a zoom range on it. Um, so that is much improved. And also I think the um, autofocus works a lot better than the Sony as well in terms of you don't have the autofocus hunting a lot when you're shooting video like I'm doing here. Finally, I think the audio quality is a little bit better on, on the Canon than on the Sony too. So they've certainly, um, I think, done a pretty good job with the PowerShot G7X. Keep in mind everything you're listening to here and you're watching is being shot with the Canon G7X and I'm not doing any, uh, I'm not going to do any post-production or anything like that. It's pretty much going to be just straight out of the camera. Let me cross the street here without getting killed. I can kind of see where I am if I point it this way. Just out for my morning walk. It's beautiful out here. Uh, not even 8 o'clock yet and the sun is just coming up, which is why I'm wearing my sunglasses. But anyway, I'll go over here and sit down. Uh, this camera can record in the full 1080 uh, 60p, 60 frames a second, which is uh, really nice. And uh, that gives it sort of this real sort of hyper real kind of look, which may not be real cinematic, like if you're shooting a, a movie or something. But for YouTube videos, I think it works really well. There's some ducks right there. And... Um, it kind of gives it that nice look of just everything being really crystal clear and sort of very realistic in terms of the way that it looks. Uh, it has this camera has good image stabilization, so let me go ahead and um, I'll you can probably see that it's relatively stabilized right now, but I'll go ahead and zoom in on something and you can, you'll see how well the image stabilization works. Again, when I looked at the specs, it's definitely more of a zoom, more, more of an optical zoom. Than the Sony so I'm zooming in all the way here okay so actually this right here is the maximum optical zoom and as you can see the image stabilization is working pretty well and then it also has a further digital zoom which basically just sort of crops in on the sensor and as you can see the quality will get worse on the z digital zoom so this is 17x right here zoom digital zoom and of course, you can kind of see the video is still quite usable. Um, so it's really nice. So it's got a, I believe this is a 24 equivalent to 100 millimeter uh, zoom range, which is really quite a zoom range on this camera, I have to say. Uh, let me go ahead and sit down over here and I can just talk a little bit more about, about this camera. Um, I think it's a pretty good performer if you want to do vlogging in YouTube. Here, let me pop up the screen here so I can actually see myself. Um, I really like the pop-up screen because it enables me to see the framing and you know just sort of see if I'm in frame and where I am and how far I should hold this thing out, you know, and stuff like that. Again, the audio, the autofocus works really well on it, as does the uh, audio. So uh, I think it's a good performer. And um, if you want a good camera for YouTube and vlogs and vlogging, I think this uh, is going to be hard to beat. The one negative is it's quite expensive. This is a $700 camera. But when compared to the Sony competitor, 
the RX100 Mark III, uh, you know, it's $100. This Canon is still $100 cheaper. So, you know, there are certain... It is, it is certainly an expensive camera, no doubt about that. Uh, if you want to look for something relatively similar that's going to perform similarly but cost a lot less, check out the Canon PowerShot S120. Um, it doesn't have the pop-up screen though, but it'll perform, you know, almost as good, not quite as good from everything that I've seen, but it does perform pretty well. Um, you know, the sensor size is, I believe, the same on the S120 and the G7X, but they've made a lot of improvements on the G7X. And speaking of sensor size, the sensor size, I believe, is the one-inch sensor. It's the same as the Sony. Uh, the Sony and the Canon um, have very, very similar sensors, if not identical uh, sensors. It may even be manufactured by the same company. Um, at least that's what some of the rumors are. Uh, the other thing is the microphones on the Canon G7X are on the top. So that's something that you want to be careful of when you're holding the camera. Just don't cover up the mics. Um, but also them being on the top is nice because it helps uh, for wind noise. When you have the microphone on the front surface of the camera, when you're facing the wind or something like that and you're outside, you get a lot more wind noise that way. So, um, you know, it's a good camera all in all, I have to say. And again, the 60p, 60 frames a second is really nice for YouTube videos because YouTube does support that frame right now and it just gives your videos a really nice um, sort of uh, hyper real or something like that kind of look especially if you have a lot of motion in your videos if you're shooting videos like in the car or any kind of motion um, you kind of see like the 60 frames a second definitely helps you for that it also, I forgot to mention, the screen is also a touch screen, which is really nice. So you can touch things on the screen. Uh, I believe the Sony is not. Uh, but yeah, you can focus with that. Um, if you're shooting a video, you can touch things that you want to be in focus on the screen, which is really a nice feature. Also, when you flip down and up the screen, it kind of has a nice thud to it. It doesn't click. It, it does it sort of quietly, which is, um, which is kind of nice when you're shooting a video. Let's see, where are those ducks? Oh, the ducks are gone. One other thing is this camera is not super pocketable, but it does fit in a jacket pocket. It just probably won't fit in a jeans pocket. But the build quality on it seems quite rugged. Um, it almost feels like it's got a metal case to it or partially metal. Uh, and uh, it has a nice substantial heft to it. I mean, it's a little bit heavy, but it doesn't feel real plastic or anything. It feels of a very high quality. So um, it seems like it's something that's Seems like a camera that's going to be uh, pretty durable. All right, this has been my look of the Canon PowerShot G7X. Any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. And uh, let me know what you think of the quality. I'm pretty much liking the 1080 um, full 60 frames a second, 60p. They call it 1080 60p. Um, I think for YouTube videos, it gives it a nice look. Although, it's harder to edit. It takes a longer time to process and, you know, export and all that kind of stuff. Alright, see you in my next video.